This is the 14.4 volt Powercraft cordless drill machine which I have been using for quite a long time and now its battery is completely dead. I searched for the same battery but unfortunately I didn't find it. So I decided to use my engineering skills to use something that can be easily arranged and can be used without putting a lot of efforts. The battery terminals are clearly marked with plus and minus signs. The battery charger is just fine as you can see the green light is turned on. When I plugged in the drill battery the red light turns on and then starts flickering for a few seconds and then completely goes off. Anyways I am going to wait for a few minutes and let's see if this will charge the battery. I am back after charging my battery for a few minutes. My digital multimeter knob is set at 20 volts. Now we will measure the battery voltage. You can see the voltage is greater than 12 volts. Technically it should be greater than 14 volts but anyways this voltage is also more than enough to power up my drill machine. After charging the battery for minutes, all I got is this small movement and now the battery is completely dead. Let's again check the battery voltage. Oh my god, in just a second the battery voltage dropped to point something volts. This means that the battery is completely dead and there is no way I can run this drill machine using this battery. Now I have three options. Number one, I can get the same exact battery. Seriously, I searched for it but I couldn't find it. Number two, I can use lithium ion batteries. Now this can be expensive and very time consuming as I will need to make series and parallel connections and more I don't have a spot welding tool. So I'm going to reject this idea but if you have the time and spot welding machine then you should go for this. Number three, I can use a lipo battery pack to power up my cordless drill machine. Lipo batteries are available in different sizes and they are quite powerful and can be easily arranged. So in this video you are going to learn how to run any drill machine using a Lipo battery pack. In the end I will share with you the final test results. Without any further delay, let's get started. I have also added the Amazon purchase links of the world's best cordless drill machines. You can find the purchase links in the description. I will need these two batteries to which this plastic holder is attached. The batteries are disconnected. The reason I'm using these batteries because these nicely fit inside the battery casing. I will solder the red and black wires of this male type T plug 
with the contacts so that I can easily connect this with the Lepo battery. You can see these plus and minus signs. So the red wire should be on the positive side and the black wire should be on the minus sign which is the ground contact. Our basic connections are completed and now all we need is to connect a LiPo battery. Right now I have this 3S11.1 volt LiPo battery pack which I have been using for powering up my RC airplanes. So for now I will use this for testing my drill machine and later I will replace this with a 4S LiPo battery pack. The remaining plug can be used to charge the LiPo battery. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.